So we've calculated the concentration of our unknown solution and we've determined the mass that we want to weigh for our 25 milliliter solution that is the same concentration as the unknown. So what we want to do is weigh it on the balance. Um, I'm going to make sure it's clean to start with. So I'll brush it. I'm going to weigh it into a beaker. So I'll place the beaker, close the draft shield, and I'm going to tear it. And I'm going to weigh my copper two sulfate solution. So the mass is fairly small. So I'm going to add just a small amount at a time. And then I'm going to weigh the rest and tell you that my mass is 0 0.011 above my target concentration when I'm done. All right, so now I need to transfer the solid that I weighed into the 25 milliliter volumetric flask. I've made a funnel to help with the transfer so it doesn't spill all over the place, hopefully. And I'm going to pour it in. And there will be some left in the beaker and the funnel. I want to make sure that I transfer all of it. So I'm going to add some water to help with the transfer. Being careful not to add too much water. And I need to do some more. And it helps to tilt it. All right, and then I want to make sure that everything in my little paper funnel goes into the volumetric flask as well. So I'm going to rinse that. And that looks good. Okay, and now I need to add water up to the line. Um, I'm going to stop before I get to the line to mix it. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water. And I'll cap it and mix it. It'll take a little while for the copper sulfate to dissolve. Alright, so now I'll add more slowly and then dropwise as I approach the 25 milliliter mark. So you can see the bottom of the meniscus is right on the 25 milliliter line. And so now I can finish mixing and we'll be ready to measure the concentration. Okay, so we have our unknown solution that we made from part B from a solid and we want to transfer it to the vial to measure the concentration of the unknown that we made. And there could be some surface tension. so I tap it just a little bit. We want to condition the vial and pour into our waste beaker. And now fill the vial with the solution. Again, make sure that it's about three quarters or more full. wipe any fingerprints off. And 
and put our unknown in. Now I'm still under tab four where I'm reading unknowns and I'm gonna add unknown, I'll say unknown B here. So I know it's the one that I made for part B and I'll click on okay. And you can see the X is very close to the unknown, which it should be because we measured very close to the target mass. Um, and so now we can answer some questions on comparing the unknown solutions. So to clarify part B, when we went to measure our actual mass of copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate, we went over by 0.011 grams and our absorbance for this sample was 0.3947.